Hello, my name is Evan Freiberger, and today we're going to be going over the severe weather risks for today and tomorrow. Uh, as you can see, we do have a low pressure system over North and South Dakota up there. Also, we have a remnant MCS making its way into the Tennessee Valley, and then we could potentially have a dangerous day out there for parts of lower Mississippi and upper Arkansas with a tornado risk hail risk and damaging wind risk out there uh, for a decent amount of people so let's go ahead and get right into it all right so this is the outlook for today as you see we do have an enhanced risk out there uh, for parts of missouri and arkansas we also have a slight risk for northern alabama northern mississippi tennessee kentucky indiana illinois missouri arkansas oklahoma texas and kansas and a marginal risk around that with another slight risk over here in Maine. Now, looking at the tornado risk, as you can see, we do have a 5% for tornadoes out there for Missouri, parts of Arkansas, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Also, we have a 2%, quite a large 2% uh, around that from Tennessee all the way up into the Northern Plains for Minnesota and North Dakota. Also, damaging winds are a possibility with this storm with 30% chance for winds of up to 60 miles per hour or greater there for Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Also, we have a 15% around that going up from Alabama into Indiana, all the way over to Kansas, down into Texas, through Oklahoma, back into Arkansas there. Then we also have a pretty large 5% uh, for damaging winds of up to 60 miles per hour or greater and then coming up here to the northeast you can see that we have five percent chance a small chance but as you can see not impossible already have a severe thunderstorm warning in this region uh, for damaging winds out there so that includes parts of rhode island massachusetts new hampshire vermont and maine coming over to the hail risk uh, you can see that we have a 15 percent chance for one inch hail or higher here and that goes from northern alabama tennessee kentucky illinois indiana missouri arkansas oklahoma kansas and texas also we have a five percent around that and also we have a 15 percent up here uh, in the northeast and that's mainly for maine and that it's a 15 percent chance for one inch hail or higher let me have five percent uh, around that going into the timing for today's storms first we're going to look at this guy right here that is currently in southern missouri this is kind of a dying mcs but there is a possibility that as this thing moves off to the east that it could reform even though it's not showing up here in the models somewhere in the uh, tennessee Alabama and uh, Mississippi region. So watch out for that. Could be a sneaky little severe threat. Over here where we have that enhanced risk for severe weather, this is mainly going to be a nighttime event out here. So definitely going to want to be weather aware, but it's supposed to really get started there at around 8 or 9 p.m. for Missouri and Kansas, extending all the way into Oklahoma. Moving this forward even more, we got uh, 11 p.m. today, and you can see there's a lot of showers and potential severe weather there in Missouri and Oklahoma. This is around when the tornado the threat will be maximized today and then moving this all the way through you can see that that rain really sticks around here in missouri and oklahoma potentially causing some major flooding issues so we're definitely gonna have to watch out for that today and then moving this forward even more i mean we're already in the early morning hours of about 5 a.m and we got another little mcs pushing into kentucky and even tennessee there as well so maybe a second round and possibly a third round of storms on the back side of that as well so a lot of rain for this region here in southern uh, Missouri again we got the tornado risk the damaging wind risk and that hail risk for today it's an enhanced risk it's a three out of five for severe weather so make sure that you are weather aware we'll be live covering this event coming back up to the northeast this is about what you can expect for today as you can see moving this forward uh, there are a couple pop-up thunderstorms, and a lot of these could be severe by around 2 p.m., and those kind of move up mainly into Maine, but some of them could cause some issues there for Vermont and into Massachusetts. Pushing this all the way through, you can see that threat should end by around 7 p.m. there for Maine. Okay, now we're going to follow this MCS into tomorrow, because this is going to be the severe weather maker for the next day. Starting off in the morning hours, some showers, potentially a couple severe weather storms in this region here for Kentucky and northern Tennessee, and then pushing this through into 2 p.m. You can see it's still mainly just a line here. There's a small tornado threat with this, a 2%, which we will go over more in detail uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Then pushing this through to about 6 or 7 p.m. Could potentially see some more pop-up thunderstorms all along this line here, this frontal boundary near Virginia, Kentucky, and West Virginia. And that moves off to the east. And then maybe another little line as well, kind of reforms after that going into the overnight hours but we're not expecting this one to be severe here 
um, as that instability will be waning. One last thing I want to go over before we end the forecast here is just to look at the hydrological outlook for today. As you can see, it's going to be a dangerous day out there. We got a three out of four here uh, for flooding, mainly for Springfield, Joplin, and Cape Girardeau, Lebanon, St. Robert, Rolla, West Plains, Mountain Home, and Ozark there. Uh, let me get a slight risk around that. But yeah, this is that main region where a lot of that rain is, is going to train over the same areas over and over and over. So definitely, if you live in these areas, be weather aware for that flood threat. And remember, if you're driving, turn around, don't drown. If you see one of those big puddles, don't drive your car through it to figure out how high it is. There's a chance that your car is just going to start floating and you're going to float away. And also, uh, if you live near a low lying area with creek beds or rivers and you start to see it rise and you get a little bit uncomfortable, that's a sign that you need to be seeking higher ground. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.